Good evening viewers, the CHS World News video. This is General Kurishnov of the greater than your nation, Soviet Union. It is currently around 10 p.m. in the great city of Moscow. Prime Minister Benjamin Nayatsha took his case to Europe to ask allies to join the United States in recognizing Jerusalem as Israel's capital, but met the firm Reba from EU foreign ministers who saw the move as a blow against the peace process. Palestinian President Mohammed Abbas, meanwhile, took his own case to Egypt on Monday and expected to fly to Turkey for meeting of Muslim countries this week, cementing support from leaders who say the U.S. has made a dire error. President Donald Trump announced last Wednesday the United States would recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital, breaking with decades of U.S. policy and international consensus that the city's status must be left to Israel-Palestine talks. Niyate, on his first visit to EU headquarters in Brussels, said Trump's move held, helped peace, quote, because recognizing reality is the substance of peace, the foundation of peace. Israel, which annexed East Jerusalem after, after capturing it in the 1967 war, considered the entire city to be its capital. Palestinians want East Jerusalem as the capital of the future independent state. The, the Trump administration says it will remains com committed to the peace process and its decision does not affect Jerusalem's future borders or status. It says any credible future peace deal will place the Israel capital in Jerusalem and ditching old policies is needed to revive a peace process frozen since 2014. But even Israel's closest European allies has rejected the logic and saying recognizing Israel's capital ultimately risk inflaming flaming violence and future wrecking the chances for peace. After a breakfast meeting between Nyati and EU foreign ministers, Sweden's top diplomats said no European at the closed-door meeting had voiced support for Trump's decision, and no country will likely to follow the United States in announcing plans to move its embassy. Quote, I have a hard time seeing any other country will do that, and I don't think any other EU country will do it, Margaret Wallstorn told reporters. U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson plans to meet Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau next week for talks over how to address the crisis over North Korean nuclear weapons, an auto source said on Monday. Canada and the United States are Duke host a meeting of foreign ministers in Vancouver in January to discuss North Korea. During a day trip in Ottawa on December 19th, Tillerson will also meet Foreign Minister Christina Freeland, said the source, who requested anonymity because the Meetings have not been formally announced. North Korea has filed missiles over Japan as it pursues nuclear weapons and ballistic missiles in defiance of UN sanctions. Last week, it said US and South Korean military drills meant the outbreak of war was, quote, an established fact. No one in the office of Trudea and Finland was immediately available for comment. The US embassy in Ottawa declined to comment. Freeland said last month that the Vancouver talks would show unity of international committee in applying pressure on Pyongyang. This has been Gino Krishnov of the Soviet Union with CHS Veiled News Video, a subsidiary of CHS Broadcasting.